We've watched it rise, a sparkling jewel shooting into the South Florida sky. I said, wouldn't it be cool if we could build a hotel shaped in a guitar? An engineering marvel they said could not be built. Nowhere has anyone built a building in the shape of a guitar. But this giant guitar is just the beginning of what's happening here. They're going to be amazed. The Seminole Hard Rock Hotel getting a billion dollar makeover and the stars are ready to play. Major, major, major international. We're dealing with 35 to 58 celebrities. And you're getting the star treatment tonight as Local 10 brings you The Rocking Reveal. This is the time of your life. Sponsored by Vera Cadillac Buick GMC Pembroke Pines. Experience the Vera difference. We're just one day away from the grand opening of the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. What an exciting time. Good evening, South Florida. I'm Will Manso. And I'm Janice Fernandez. We have all seen this guitar hotel, but this is just part of the great things you'll see here. We're poolside, and as you can see, this is no ordinary pool. We're at the Bora Bora Cabanas, and you can pretty much get everything here. Everything's a great word to use because no matter what you want to do, there's something here for everyone. No structure that's ever been designed like this. Nobody's ever done anything like this before. You can see it from everywhere. A sparkling blue jewel rising hundreds of feet into the air and changing our skyline forever. People are going to love it. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, London the Bridge, South Florida, say hello to the giant guitar. When did you have that first vision of having that guitar, the hotel, the concept, the transformation that we've seen here. Back in 2007 was the first conversations on creating, you know, the world's first guitar shaped hotel. That grand idea more than a decade in the making from a man who wanted to take hard rock to a whole nother level, CEO Jim Allen. And I said, wouldn't it be cool if we could build a hotel shaped in a guitar? That'll really create some excitement. We're actually going to go this way. But at first, Allen was told it couldn't be done. Impossible, they said. Too many curves. I don't know if we'll ever do anything like this again. Executive architect Steve Peck took on the challenge, creating a blueprint like we have never seen before and bringing Alan's vision to life. One of our presentations happened to have a little bit of undulation. And so Jim said, why don't we just do a full guitar? I'm like, that is crazy. That's, that's crazy talk right there. <laughs> The engineering marvel taking nearly three years to build. We all watched it grow day by day, floor by floor. Like a shining star, you could see it from pretty much any highway in South Florida. And if you're wondering about it standing up during storm season. It will stand up to a hurricane. We're past 140 mile an hour winds. The grand guitar really shows off at night. Thanks to an amazing light show that is set to music it dazzles from the first floor to high into the sky. I think when people see the entertainment show of the building itself and the lasers that go up, you know, 20,000 feet into the night, um, it's going to be a real conversation. Will, this gleaming guitar is more than just a showpiece. Yeah, you can actually stay inside of there. Have you ever stayed inside of a guitar, Janice? Uh, that's a big no, because there's never been anything like this anywhere before. There are 638 luxury guest rooms in the guitar, the lavish hallways taking you to your relaxing retreat. You'll find extra large bathrooms and state-of-the-art fixtures. But the guitar is just part of the new song here. Yeah, there's also the brand new Oasis Tower. That's where you can enjoy the high-tech suites as you look out at the endless pools. It's just gonna be something you have to see. People are gonna say, OMG, I was just there, you have to go. Drew Schlesinger is the VP at Hard Rock Seminole. He's overseen the 1.5 billion with a B project since the first shovel went into the ground. The project created jobs and lots of them. More than 2,000 hard hats working around the clock and there will be nearly 2,000 new permanent positions when doors open tomorrow night. To watch it be built and to start walking the areas and now it's where everything is just about finished, you know, it, it's just a rush. It is a rush. 
Schlesinger says it's the integrated resort experience. The guitar, the new resort, the new expanded casino, the luxurious spa, the never-ending pools, the shopping, and the all-new dining concepts that will have people flocking to the rock from South Florida and from across the world. By far, this, this will surpass or equal anything, whether it's Macau, Sydney, Vegas, Atlantic City. It's just, it's world class. World class is the only way to describe the entrance to this place. Is it green space? Is it art? We're not sure, but we know it's like no other hotel check-in we've ever seen before. And said, let's create fire, water, video, music, water curtain screens. They call it the Oculus. So we have the water wall. This wall is going to have water through it with a projection. We have the water column in the center that has different choreographies. Creative director Pico Velasquez from the Rockwell Group says guests will be floored. The whole lighting system is super intricate because we can have a full choreography that brings the music to life. It feels like fantasy land. You will forget about your luggage and be asking, where am I? So basically we're reinventing the screen. We're turning it into a full live environment. We've all seen great shows at the old Hard Rock Live, but that place is now long gone, and look at what's here now. Janice, there's not a bad seat in the house. Yeah, that's right, Will. This 7,000-seat space is a clam shell shape. Every seat faces the stage, and not one person is more than 160 feet away from the all-star act. It was a $125 million business decision to build the most technologically advanced, you know, entertainment facility in the country. There will be superstar bands and comedians, and we're told there will even be Broadway shows. It's really a very unique, uh, never been done before aspect of a theater. Grammy winners Maroon 5 will be the first to rock the new Hard Rock Live this Friday. Meantime, the maestros who brought this sweet song to life have a message for South Florida. You're welcome. You should thank the tribe of the Seminole Tribe of Florida and Jim Allen because, you know, other than Disney, I, I truly believe this will be the second or first most visited site in, in South Florida. I think we know we have something pretty special here, and we're really excited, you know, for the general public to come and give us their feedback. Well, we could be the first to report that this place is incredible. Seeing the Oculus in person is just wild. Yeah, Will, the living walls, the water, the music, it's all so amazing. And this is really the Times Square of the resort because from here, you can get anywhere from the casino to the shopping to the restaurants, you name it. Did you say restaurants? Coming up, we're going in the kitchen with the star chefs who have created nearly two dozen, that's right, two dozen new restaurant concepts at The Rock. But first, we're diving into a magical oasis, the incredible pools and spa when our rock and reveal comes right back. So we're inside the Guitar Hotel where there's so much to see and do. And my personal favorite, the spa. The rock spa <laughs> and salon has everything from massages to getting your hair done and of course, Facials. I have heard this from you for a week now in preparation of all the things you want to do inside the spa. You know what, when I'm on vacation, I want to relax, so we have to start off on the right foot and get that really deep tissue massage. That sounds great, but as you can see, I'm in pool clothes, so I'm ready to try the pools. And I'm gonna get my massage. See you later. Oh, now this is so beautiful. 42,000 square feet of pure relaxation. One of my favorite rooms is the sauna room, and take a look how beautiful this is inside, but I actually like to do it after the massage. It sort of releases even more toxins, it's really nice. And of course, it wouldn't be a spa without several pools. There are three pools here. You've got some that are a little bit cooler, room temperature, but then there are pools like this one that get really steamy, and of course, it feels so nice when your muscles are all tight. I know exactly where to wait for my spa treatment here inside the salt room. Now, believe it or not, this helps reduce stress and it also brings you energy. So it's the perfect place to just sit and relax. 
This tranquil space is more than just a place to relax. It's also a high-tech treatment center. There's a biotech system that uh, for facials that infuse oxygen that will, will actually look like you've had a uh, um, surgery. <laughs> It'll last about 48 hours, so if you're coming for a party and you want to look great, we have the method to make you look great. Good morning, Janice. Oh, good morning. My name is Judy. I'll be your therapist oh, for the day. So nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Favorite person today. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so excited to get this treatment. Oh, this is just so perfect. This is my idea of relaxation. I love how you can get your massage obviously on the bed and then just jump in that beautiful jacuzzi right after. Wonderful. That is part of the treatment. So what I'll do is step outside, get under the sheet face down, and I'll knock before I come in. Perfect. Thank you so much. Will is totally missing out right now. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, I wonder how Janice is doing. But whatever she's doing, it's hard to top this experience. This is the ultimate experience of the one of six pool areas here at the Hard Rock. You're talking about the Bora Bora experience. This includes your own private pool area which includes this cabana that I'm about to enter that's all yours. It's got an indoor, outdoor shower. Look at this space here. You got a couch, flat screen TV, and even a personal server. Here's your cucumber uh, cooler. Erica, thanks so much. That looks delicious. You're welcome. I appreciate it. So all of this is part of that Bora Bora experience. Look at that view. Look at this setup. And look at this drink. And you can take that drink and chill out in a lounge chair on the Rock's man-made beaches. It took a lot of planning and imagination to create this oasis right off 441. I've got nowhere else. I need to be. Now, if you're the more adventurous type, then you definitely have to come out here to the lagoon. It is the size of over three and a half football fields, and you have got paddle boarding, mega paddle boarding, pedal boats, you've got kayaks, and yes, as you can see, I'm dealing with right here an elliptical paddleboard you can jump on top of and go for a ride. So we've had the drinks, the fun and games, but there's six pools here. It's hot out. You're here to have fun and be in one of those pools. So it's about time. What am I doing in this shirt? Let's go in. Time to go in. And hey, Will, when you're ready, come meet me up here at Aviaca. It is the Hard Rock's brand new wood fire grill. We're gonna be trying more than a dozen brand new restaurant concepts when our rock and reveal comes right back. About time, Will. I'm starving. I know, I know, but I was just checking out the incredible transformation going on around here. They're working around the clock. I know what the chefs are also working hard at the 19 different restaurant concepts. They are preparing all those delicious dishes. Yeah, right behind us here is Abiyaka. This is an incredible brand new wood fire grill, and I'm told the food is spectacular. And so is the view because diners will be looking down at the brand new pools and lagoon. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry, so let's go inside and check it out. Yeah. Mama always said, don't play with fire, but thankfully the chefs don't listen at Abiaka. So Dito, what do you got working for us uh, We're doing right now the Scuna Bay Salmon with salmon puree and smoked carrots. Sounds delicious. It is delicious. <laughs> Chef Tito is in charge of the state-of-the-art wood fire grills and whole ovens. Oh wow, you can smell it from here. Looks about as good as it's gonna taste. Beautiful, <laughs> it's perfect. Mwah. Our stomachs couldn't wait a second longer. We saw it happen in action. Okay, fantastic. Here we go. Oh. This one is our braised short rib. This has got a, a guava braise and a little chimichurri sauce. It's all you. Uh, this is our Jasper roasted salmon. It's got a mezcal butter sauce. We are digging in. Bon appetit. We watched it get made. Now it is time to eat it. You don't even need a knife with this. It kind of falls off the bone. Well, that butter. Remember when he poured the butter over it? It really adds. This guava sauce is so great. And seriously, look at that. You don't even need the knife. That's just, oh, I love that. Just ripping people's food off, but I'm going to get it. Oh, wow. And I only let Will look actually how, look how juicy do that. that. Look at that. Look how juicy that is. Speaking of meat, you know the name Council Oak, but this legendary steakhouse has a new space and a brand new attitude. Idea of the restaurant of the Great American Steakhouse, the seafood hasn't changed. The biggest thing that has changed is the solid fuel ovens, the Hosper ovens, and the uh, wood burning grills. Chef Robert Siborowski is Lord of the Grill at Council Oak. 
and those ovens can get up to a thousand degrees, twelve hundred wow. degrees Fahrenheit, and it creates this texture on the meat. Oh my! He served us this showstopper, a giant tomahawk ribeye. We're gonna dig in. I hope you don't mind. Please. We want to dig in, and it's it's so hard because it's not like on TV we can say, "Hey, taste it." Right. The ribeye was the star, but the steak tartare and lobster thermidor were divine. You can come and try it. We'd love to have them. But you can't taste it through the camera. And I think that people will, will come away highly impressed with what it is that the, the property's doing. You got a fan here. Yeah. You got a fan here. Big fan. Appreciate it. <laughs> there was just enough time for one drink. That's a beauty. Before our next stop at Chipresso. It's Italian American fare that transports you back to the old world. Okay. I can't lie. The Robiola al Forno was mesmerizing. I can smell okay. all the cheese. Executive chef Alex Becker took the cheese with a freshly fired margarita pizza and the classic pasta dish, gaccio e pepe. Now, Janice saw this come out right away, and she's been staring at this I mean, cheese this wheel for an hour. What I've been waiting <laughs> for. Janice was obsessed with the gaccio e pepe. Oh. But thankfully, she was in a sharing mood. What do you hope people take away? when they visit? I want them to come and understand that the food and beverage component is something that we're going to do at a high level. And this all tastes excellent, so it, it worked out. <laughs> and the great food is just the beginning of the party at The Rock. There are 20 bars and lounges. That's right, 20, including this one in the lobby that's right across from where guests check in. You know where else you can have a great drink? Inside that world-class casino. Let's go make some money. Our Rock and Reveal is coming right back. Day at the Hard Rock. We played, we dined, now it's time to win. We look like a million bucks. Time to win a million bucks. First stop, the slots. You gotta pick the right one. You have to have the right vibe. All these slots, but maybe the headliner is the Adam Levine slots. And you know Maroon 5 is playing on October 25th. Yeah, so you know we got one more night. Yeah, I got the moves like Jagger. They make great music, but they didn't make us rich this time. But there are 3,000 other machines to play, from a penny a pull to $5,000 a spin. We've prided ourselves in being able to offer a great experience in South Florida since we've been here. Now we're marketing to the world. Paul Brown is one of the pros overseeing the 200,000 square feet of world-class gaming space. He's also our teacher for tonight. All right, Paul, I know we, we look the part, we don't necessarily play the part, though. No. This is blackjack. Yes. So I played this on my phone before, and all I know is the number 21. That's it. That's all I've got. That is correct. Closest one to 21 wins, you versus the dealer. So you're my competitor. So we're not friends here. OK. I'm going I'm to stay. So what is the Joker worth? <laughs> like, what does that mean? <laughs> I see the really reward, a but I don't know what that means. The Jags face value of 10. You've got 14. If you get an eight, you're done. But you know what? Let's just do it. You just, you just wanted to tap. Hey, exactly. there you go. This, I'm, I, this, I'm beating. I'm okay, I'm beating this is, Will. This is the, this yeah, yeah, we're we're good. We're not, we're not playing each other, right? Oh, okay. Hey. Oh, I want something. There you go. <laughs> If we're going to be high rollers, let's be high rollers. I like your attitude. Wait a second. You're way higher roller <laughs> than me because so, I don't have. I, I have to let her borrow a you thousand. Let her borrow. <laughs> Here you go. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, this is scary. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Buy a thousand. I won. Hey. The dealer keeps dealing. Janice keeps winning. Me, not so much. But we are having a great time. And, Ooh, now oh, this is wait. important. This is, this is tough. <laughs> now, you either start to play better with alcohol. No, no, I, this is where I turn the corner here. <laughs> this is where. Cheers. 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 To, to winning. To Thank winning. you, Paul. Let's do it all. Let's, You're doing it I'm all? I'm doing it all. I'm doing it all. I'm, I'm a little nervous to go no, this no. route. With, you want to just see me do it and stay out? Or? I'm, I, I'll i play, but I'm not going to give up my pretty no, no, little ones. It, she, remember, she has a tent, so she's in good shape. Yeah, but she was in good shape last time. It's so. true, and you won. Yeah. Won. 21. Oh! Luck be a lady tonight. What a streak. But Janice, you know what that means. You're going to have to buy drinks for the entire crew now when we're done with the show. I don't know about 
about that, but there was definitely some beginner's luck involved. We've had such an incredible time here at the brand new Hard Rock. It has been a blast. And remember, you're all invited to the grand reopening. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. Rock and Reveal, sponsored by Vera Cadillac Buick GMC Pembroke Pines. Experience the Vera difference.